Investigators say they have now recovered the bodies of both missing workers from the rubble. Diddy and Millian identifying the three people killed as Dual Block, Robert Goodnow, and Paul Tordoff. Nearly a dozen other workers were hurt. NBC26's Regina Ahn has the latest on the investigation as crews work to determine a cause. Yes, Megan, Vice President of Operations Derek Clark says Paul Tordoff's body was discovered this morning with the help of canine units and the search and rescue teams. Recovery crews found the body of Robert Goodenow last night. Dual Block was found dead shortly after the explosion on Wednesday night. Now Block was a mill operator, Goodenow was a forklift operator, and Tordoff was a packing operator. The cause and source of the explosion is still under investigation by OSHA, DCI, and fire marshals. Clark did not want to comment on whether it was a dust explosion, saying there could be many other possibilities. The loss of these three uh, team members is uh, a very emotional and, uh, incident for us and really torn a, heart, a hole in the heart of the Didion Milling team and the Cambria community. So, um, but we are also deeply concerned. Uh, we had 11, 11 other individuals who were hospitalized as a result of this event. Clark says there are counselors set up for employees and that his heart goes out to the families and loved ones of families of the three who we just named earlier. A timeline of when ethanol production will resume is still undetermined. Now, Clark says no employees will lose their jobs over this incident. Reporting live in Johnson Creek, Regina on for NBC 26. Thanks, Regina. The tight-knit community of Cambria is leaning on each other tonight as they try to begin the healing process. We spoke with a woman who identified herself as the girlfriend of Robert Goodnow. Rochelle Waddle says she woke up around 6 a.m. and saw the news reports of the explosion. She says it was tough waiting to know what happened. I've been crying a lot. <laughs> yeah, because I, the police called me and I called the police and the police called me back and told me that one person was found, but it wasn't him. Now, good now, his body was found in the rubble by search and rescue crews last night.